Studies show that women with a thin endometrial lining have lower frozen embryo pregnancy rates. So what can you do to get your lining thicker? Here are eight tips you can try. Continue estrogen for a longer period of time. If your body is absorbing estrogen, you know this by looking at your estrogen levels on a blood test, then you may just need some additional time. Some studies in women with a thin uterine lining after 10 to 14 days found that continuing estrogen for 30 or 40 days would sometimes get the lining to improve enough to do a transfer. Try other types of estrogen. Most doctors start with oral estrogen because it usually works, it's easy and inexpensive. However, once you swallow the estrogen tablet, some of it gets destroyed in the stomach. Some moves on to your intestines. From there, it has to be absorbed into your blood and then goes immediately to your liver. The liver changes the form of estrogen from estradiol, which is also called E2, to estrone or E1. E1 doesn't work as well in the uterus, so it may not be as effective in getting the lining thicker in some women. Estrogen can be absorbed through the skin, so estrogen patches are an alternative to pills. The estrogen from the patches doesn't get converted to E1 as much. The better availability of E2 with patches may work better in the uterine lining. Finally, another option is to administer the estrogen through the vagina. Like patches, vaginal estrogen doesn't get converted to E1 and also has the advantage of being close to the uterus so that the amount of estrogen getting into the uterine lining is higher than any other method. Try a natural cycle without medications. If you are a woman who ovulates, then you mature and release an egg each month. You could try to use the estrogen that your ovaries produce each month. The method can be tricky, however, because you could ovulate before the lining is thick enough and problems determining exactly when your ovaries start producing progesterone can lead to timing the transfer incorrectly. Low dose aspirin. A low dose of aspirin taken every day may help improve blood flow to the uterus, but the evidence is mixed as to whether it helps improve growing the uterine lining thickness. At worst, it's easy, inexpensive, and doesn't appear to cause any harm. Now, there are also some things that we recommend avoiding. Viagra. Viagra works by allowing blood vessels to dilate. Increased blood flow can help guys with erectile dysfunction, but does it improve the thickness of the uterine lining? An initial very small series of four patients seemed to show some improvement, but subsequent larger studies with a control group that did not receive Viagra have failed to show a benefit. IVF experts do not recommend this therapy squirting stuff into the uterus. Some doctors have tried squirting various things into the uterus to hopefully stimulate the uterine lining directly. One method used a protein called GCSF. Like Viagra, an initial very small series of patients found there might be some benefit. Afterwards, at least seven more studies tried the same experiment. Six out of the seven studies showed no increase in the thickness. The seventh one did see a small increase, but there was no improvement in the chance for pregnancy. We would not recommend this therapy either. PRP. PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, is also squirted into the uterus. The evidence here is also mixed. Some small series of patients reportedly have shown some benefit. The studies so far have been poor. Unfortunately, some doctors have been charging patients a lot of money to do this, even though there isn't any good evidence yet that it works. If you are considering trying this therapy, do it only at a center that is conducting research and you should not be charged one penny. At IVF1, we are conducting such a study that you can check out here. There are lots of frauds and scammers and crooks out there who are trying to charge you for ineffective or sometimes dangerous treatments. Check out this playlist to learn more about some of the other fertility scams. If you have a topic you would like us to cover in a future episode, put it in the comments. If you like this video, then like this video. Subscribe now. Infertility TV produces a new video each week. It's like having a fertility specialist in your phone.